Hello, everyone. Now I have uh, some more, some new Beatles stuff to show you. And uh, the first thing I want to show off here is the uh, Hey Jude Revolution single. Now, as you can see, I picked this up for three bucks at Vintage Vinyl. And uh, I don't know if this is the original copy or not. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just happy that I got the uh, the vinyl here in the apple sleeve, and uh, it's in pretty good shape. Let me see if I get some good light on this. As you can see, yeah, and it sounds pretty good. It's um, it's mono too, which is cool. So, really cool. I think this is probably the best uh, single ever released by anyone ever with uh, competition from sti you know close second from this guy right here so let me the back of this this is strawberry fields forever penny lane so yeah I was really happy to get this but let's move on to the, uh, the star of the show here and that's Look at that thing. Now, does this uh, remind anyone else of the monolith from 2001? Is it? It does to me. I mean, look at this thing. It's humongous. All the way around. Obviously, this is the 2009 uh, box set remastered Beatles thing. Now, I have. If any, if any of you have kept up with my my Beatles vinyl videos, a lot of the uh, the CDs that I have from the 2009 remasters were uh, were missing, and I said, hey, I plan on uh, I plan on rebuying them. So I did the math, and for the amount of money it would have taken to replace the ones that I was missing this was only about twenty dollars more because I did pick this up used but I really lucked out with this one because a lot of the uh, a lot of the CDs as stipulated by the eBay seller that I bought this off of they were still sealed I'd say about four or five of them I did open them but yeah I was pretty happy about that so I kind of own the uh, the box set twice now because I'm kind of insane well I know this showing this off is kind of pointless but I'm going to do it anyway because to my channel I can do whatever I want so I'm gonna now I put these like this because to me it made more sense to put the first album in album in first and this actually kind of looks cooler to me than having please please me and magical mystery tour here but whatevs so let's take a look at these these are neat Look at that. So I now have all the discs, which makes me happy. For anyone who hasn't seen these, here is Please Please Me. Opens twice. With the Beatles. Look at that. Pretty rad. A Hard Day's Night. Oh, see? I have the disc now. Beatles for sale. There we go. Help. Which, I just found out today they're, they're releasing this on Blu-ray, so I'm really pumped. Well, the movie, that is, not the album. But, yeah. I like this picture a lot. There's the CD. Every, uh... Every album before Magical Mystery Tour has that same yellow and black capital logo. Here is. I'm sorry, did I say capital? I'm in Parlophone. Here's Over Soul. Cool picture. Revolver, my favorite thing ever. Very cool photos there. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. 
This is the last Beatles release that have this label. So it's these right here. Uh, let's go through these. Now I kind of have these in the order that I want them in, so just bear with me. Here is the uh, mini documentaries DVD. Cool picture from the Sgt. Pepper sessions, and it has a red apple on it, I think. Yeah, which was this red apple here was originally on the American Let It Be, not the British one. Uh, here is Magical Mystery Tour, and as you can see, this has the Capitol logo on it because there was never a Magical Mystery Tour album in the UK. Here is the White Album, which I love the way they did this. This looks fantastic. You got the embossing here, new period photos, and uh, let me just open this one up. There's that. And then you got the four little were giveaway photos before, but now they're kind of part of the packaging. There's the book, the two discs, side two. I mean, this two has the uh, the apple cut. It's kind of hard to get out, but I'll do it anyway. Let's see. There it is. There's the apple cut out. Very neat. And uh, the white album posters here. I actually have four white album posters now. So, yeah, there's the white album. I love the way this looks. It's in perfect shape. Like, I am... Like I said, these were used. This is one of the ones that wasn't sealed, but this looks pretty immaculate. Look at that. And I got this box set for a hundred bucks, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Fucking dogs. Here's Yellow Submarine. This is actually the first time I've ever owned this album. I've owned like before this. I bought the Yellow Submarine song track, which is the the blue one. It came out with the DVD release back in 1999, so kind of happy I finally, I finally owned this album. Here's Let It Be. Now I'm happy I got another copy of this because my original Let It Be, well the 2009, it was it was all messed up here, like the the paint or the paper was splitting. You can see white here, but this is in uh, pretty much perfect shape. There's that. Cool photos. And there's the apple logo. Now, I put this one before Abbey Road because it was recorded before Abbey Road, so. Yeah. To me, this is the second to last album. And here is Abbey Road. There's the gatefold. More photos and the CD. And then, last but not least for sure is uh, Past Masters. This used to be, uh, when this was released in 1988, there were two separate CDs, but when they did these remasters, they made it just one, uh, one double album here. So, very cool photo of the Beatles here. And I like what they did here. For the uh, first disc, they did a Parlophone thingy. And then for the second disc, they did the apple. So, I like what they did there. Get back in there. And the book is pretty cool. A lot of liner notes, cool photos. Yeah, so, uh, pretty happy that I, uh, that I got this, obviously. So, let me put this back. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna. My next video is hopefully, 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 going to be tomorrow, and it'll, if uh, things turn out the way I think they should, based on what I was told, it should be an unboxing of the new Daft Punk album that I'm going to be getting early, so keep an eye out for that. I'm really excited. Anyway. There you go, the monolith here. And thanks for watching.